Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and who wants some bleeding ears? If you answered, I do, I do, stay tuned, perfect video for you, because what we're going to be looking at today is an audio tool. Specifically, we're looking at chip tone, and truth of the matter is, there's only so much damage I can do to your ears today, uh, because this is just for making sound effects, individual sounds, not full-blown songs. So I'm going to only be able to maybe make one of your ears bleed, but we shall find out. So chip tone is completely free, which is always a nice way to start a video off. Uh, you can see nice little user interface here. I am if you've ever heard of BFXR or SFXR, you will immediately understand what chip tone is all about. One is inspired by the other, which in turn inspired chip tone. It all started with SFXR. It's a little tool made for Illudum Dare back in 2007. Very simple program for making uh, sound effects. And then BFXR was a flash based version of it with some new tools and so on. I featured it in the channel in the past. Again, flash based. This is the reason why some people still continue to install flash. Uh, now you don't have to. This is an HTML5 based slash Mac slash Windows version. Although I will admit the uh, Mac version did not seem to save the WAV files, which is seemingly a little bit important. Uh, it seems to be a bug of some kind. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and grab it, very simple. Uh, Come on in here. I will have this linked in the linked article down below. It's like a six or seven megabyte download depending on your platform. And we will jump in right now. So here you can see chip tone. Uh, this is the main user interface. Uh, it is limited in size. I can't make it any bigger than that. Although I will obviously zoom it in the video itself so you can see this a bit better. Um, but if you're running on a non 4K display, it'll look just fine. I'll take up your whole screen. Uh, so what we've got here, basically start off with the simple sound effects that you want to generate. So if you want to make a coin noise, a pickup of a coin. These generators know what kind of sounds to make. Same with zapping. And each time I click it, it's making a slightly different version. And there are explosions. So it makes it super, super, super simple to make these kind of sounds, jump sounds. Pickups. Uh, losing sounds. Getting hurt sounds. And just general blips. Now these are, uh, just generators. These are stock level things. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of aspects to this that look really, really exciting, but never actually came to be. So we've got sampler here and sequencer, which I think would allow you to take your notes and actually put them together and make songs out of them. Uh, this hasn't been updated since like January of this year. So I don't know that we're going to see those soon. Now they did say soon-ish, so maybe they will still happen. But just for the synth side of things alone, this is still definitely worth checking out. So what you saw over the generator, we can do it in the entire of that ourselves. We can do it like this way, which by the way, randomize. This is where it might start some bleeding out of your ears. At the very least, I'm going to probably piss off your pets. Let's go. So you get an idea just from, just from the randoms, uh, what kind of sounds you can create of this. And then we could do, if you like the bass sound, but it's not quite what you want, but you don't want to get around of messing all the rest of this crap, you can literally just come in here and do a mutate of that. And you see, it's just kind of tweaking it slightly. But let's look at creating something completely from scratch. We're going to turn everything off. All right. So here we are. We have our note. So you can go here, generally higher down here in cat piss off land. And then the lower notes are over here. Uh, you got control over the amplitude, the frequency right here, the generator. So we start with a wave. So these obviously are good for explosion type sounds. So you can go from there, or we can start with, again, just a raw generator, it'll pick in four. So one of my favorites, again, was the, uh, I like the one-ups. So we've got those in here. Uh, we're going with, uh, so our amplitude is dropping off, our frequency is pretty solid there. And now we can start layering in special effects. So right now they have, uh, what is that, Arpiego uh, turned on. You can change and control over how that works. I come in here, let's add some wah-wah to it. And there, without with and you got control over it, the frequency the speed and then we could obviously change the, the wave 
And you can really almost create any kind of sound you want out here. And let's just turn everything on. Change the wave. Go a little higher. Let's drop the frequency down. Add some attack. Add some decay. Add some sustain. Increase the length and the release. We're gonna make a very long meandering sound. Um. So as you can see, you could create a really, really wide variety of sound effects with almost no skill at all. In fact, you don't need any skill. You literally just come up here and randomize until you get the sound you wanted, and then you can just mutate your heart's content. But what I really like with this is it does encourage coming in here and sort of just experimenting with things. Like, what does harmony do? Well, here's our note now. Uh, like so. All right, let's just turn harmony on. Now let's turn it up. Increase the speed. Increase the fall off. So really, you just kind of come in and play with things until you get what you want. And then at the end, uh, you have control over the final output. So we've got an equalizer for the low, the mids, the highs, a compressor, and control over the volume. You can bring things out 44 kilohertz, 22 kilo, 22k kilohertz, or 22 kilohertz, I guess. Um, and then we've got 16-bit or 8-bit output. And then just save your file out, and there is your sound effect wherever you want to save it, and it's ready to go in your game or whatever you want to do with it. Again, I would love to see the sampler and sequencer added. The sequencer with a series of notes you created this way, you could definitely turn this into a music program of sorts. But right now, it is a pure sound effect generator, but it's a really cool one. If you like your setup, go ahead and save it out as a CPT file. You want to bring back in your setup, you can load it back in as a CPT file. Um, you can copy there, so you can take that, so we can copy that out or we can paste that in, uh, and that would be, it's basically your settings, your, your um, sound settings uh, in just a string form. Uh, so you could, I suppose, theoretically share that with somebody else and they would get the sound that you just created. So basically this is a file save to a certain degree. You could send that over to a friend and they will get all of the configurations you've got going on right here. Um, and that is it, that's Chiptone, a very straightforward, uh, clean-lined tool. Again, it's built on top of SFXR and BFXR, um, which are really kind of um, mainstays in the indie gaming world for creating these kind of sound effects. And this has just by far and away a much nicer user interface, in my opinion. Makes it, uh, especially for something like myself who likes to visually experiment, it makes it definitely more useful in that regard. And the nice thing is, with the generators, you can know what you're going for. So if you want to create an explosion, you can start here. And then you lower it down. And then just kind of mix with it until you get an effect you like. So you got a nice starting point, and then you just sort of start playing around with things until you get an end result. And then you export it out as a WAV file. And a WAV file is pretty universally supported in pretty much every single... Um, uh, game engine that is out there or you could bring them in as notes and in, in your own musical composition program so again i would love to see uh this update happen uh but it's been uh the last update here was april 5th and the last version update was like uh january or february because uh, i would love to see those uh, other uh, tools added in make this a uh, full music composition program uh, but as it stands right now, it's definitely a useful sound effects program. If you're interested technically behind the scenes, it was built using the Hacks and the OpenFL program, um, OpenFL SDKs, uh, both tools and languages I actually really kind of like. So uh, that is Chiptone. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And uh, are there other little like quick and dirty type tools like this, especially free ones that you would recommend that I haven't covered already on the channel? If you've got a recommendation, uh, let me know down below. And are you using a sound effects generator of this form? If so, which one? And and uh, yeah, let me know. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.